Greetings, this is Amy Wentley with Chai Knuckles Knitting, and this is episode 2018-8, the Hito Fude Cardigan Crochet Chain Provisional Cast On. I'm currently teaching a class at the Hillsborough Yarn Shop in Hillsborough, North Carolina on the Hito Fude Cardigan, which is a beautiful lace cardigan. And that cardigan starts with two provisional cast-ons, both done with the crochet chain method. And um, the reason for that is because later on in the project, you end up picking up the live stitches from the provisional cast-on to um, work other sections of the sweater. So we're going to start today, and I'm going to show you how to do a crochet chain provisional cast-on and the first couple of setup rows for the sweater. So you need to start with waist yarn and a crochet hook and you need to crochet a chain and my amounts on these instructions are less than the real sweater just for demo purposes. But you'll be doing one crochet chain with one color of waist yarn that's about a third of the stitches and you'll do another crochet chain with a different color waist yarn which is about two thirds of the stitches. And you start the crochet chain by making a slip knot putting it on your crochet hook and then you take the working yarn, the one that's attached to your ball of yarn and you hold the yarn in your left hand and you are going to wrap the hook around the yarn and pull it through that loop and that's one stitch. And you wrap the yarn around and pull it through the loop. Wrap the yarn around and pull it through the loop and you keep doing this and the instructions say to cast on a particular number of stitches I usually cast on about five more than are required, five to ten more, just for safety's sake, and it doesn't hurt anything. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then I'm going to go ahead and do five more. One, two, three four, five. And then I'm going to cut the yarn. I'm going to pull the last stitch all the way through. That makes a little knot. And then I'm going to do a little knot on this leftover yarn here so that I know that this is the end that I will unravel when the time comes in the project. So here's my crochet chain. And I want you to see that on the, let's see if we can get that to focus. That on this side of the chain, you see very, a very nice chain look to it. When you turn it over, you see bumps. See those bumps? And those are the bumps we're going to put our needle through to pick up stitches. So I also crocheted a chain. This one has 40 stitches. My pattern calls for 30. So this is my other color and this is my other chain. This is chain B setting that aside. We're going to work with chain A now and starting from chain A with the main needle and this is going to be my main needle for demo purposes right now. Um, what you want to do is pick up and knit 18 stitches through the bump on the chain. So I stick my needle through a bump on the chain, I get my working yarn and I find the end of my working yarn. Here it is. And I'm going to wrap around that my needle and pull it through this first loop and I'll have my working yarn and then I'm going to have my waist yarn at the end, my um, tail. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick up all 18 of these stitches onto my needle. So that's going to be two and you put it through. I knit continental so you'll see me holding this yarn in my left hand to pick these stitches up. I'm putting them through the bump and I want to push it back on my needle so that I get the stitch the right size and I'm going to pull, wrap the yarn and pull it through. If I were doing it with my right hand I would put it through the bump, push the stitch back on my needle, wrap and pull it through. And then I will continue in that manner until I have the 18 stitches on my needle. Sometimes it's a little hard. Sometimes you have to try twice, but you'll get there. 
if you skip a bump, it's not going to be the end of the world. You chained extra so that, you know, if you run into that problem and you skip a bump, it's not going to hurt anything. What you don't want to do is you don't want to pick up two stitches in the same bump. Um, but as long as you do each individual stitch in a bump, you'll be set. Got eight more to go. That's one. And that's two. And that's push it back to make it big enough so things aren't too tight. Three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. So that should be 18 now. Let's check. Okay. So it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Great. And then it says to turn the work, so I'm going to turn my needle around and I'm going to start working on this end. And what you're going to do is you'll start out this row with the ribbing edge. So it's going to be knit one, purl one, three times. So it's one, two, oops, knit one, purl one, sorry, that's one repeat. Knit one, purl one is a second repeat. Knit one, purl one is the third repeat. And then they want you to place a marker. And then they want you to go ahead and knit 12 to the end of your needle. So there's my marker. And then I would knit 12 to the end of my needle. Now I already started some of this here on a different needle and I'm at that point now. I did the knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Um, actually, no I didn't, sorry. This is actually at the end of picking up. So this is exactly where we were before. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to start set up row one at this point. All these stitches are picked up into the chain I turned the work and now I'm going to go ahead and do the knit one, purl one edge. And then I'm going to place a marker. So this knit one, purl one is three times. And I'm going to place a marker. So this is set up row one. This is just on a different needle that I had prepared ahead of time. So it's knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And then I'm going to place a marker. And that's going to be for my edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and knit 12. And I'm going to finish off the rest of these stitches um, on the crochet chain A provisional cast on. So that's three four, come on, it's a little tight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve. Now at the end of setup row one, it said, or at the end of this knit 12 right here, it says do not turn. So don't turn the work over and start working on the other side yet. What you're going to do now is you're going to incorporate chain B. So this is chain B. This is the side with my little knot on it. And I'm going to start picking up at the end of this work here on this needle, I'm going to start picking up the crochet chain B. 
and I'm going to pick up 30 stitches. So here we go. And what you want to do is this first one is just pull a little tight so that's right up against chain A. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, third of the way there, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, we're just halfway there, Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two thirds of the way there, twenty one. Come in. 21, 22, 23, 23. <laughs> this one got splitty on me. Okay, 23 for the 14th time. 23, 23, 24, 25, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, I'm going to double check and make sure I have 30 on here. And so this is the blue chain here. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 21, Yep, 30. Okay. So when I get done picking up the 30 stitches from chain B, then I'm allowed to turn my work again. Now setup row two is where we're going to set up the markers for um, and to set up the stitches for our lace. And so this is the wrong side and we're going to start out with knit one or purl one knit one, purl one knit one, purl one knit one. So a total of three times and that's our six edge, edge stitches. So we're going to do purl one, knit one. And the reason it's purl one, knit one is because we're on the back now. So on the front, it's knit one, purl one. On the back, it's purl one, knit one. So we get those six stitches done. And then we are ready to place a marker for our edge. And then we're going to place markers for our 12 stitch um, lace repeat. And um, the first time through, you're going to use a lot of markers, but it's nice to have each repeat marked. 
um, as you get through you can have less repeats marked but until you get really good with the lace pattern you probably want to be better safe than sorry so I'm going to purl five stitches and I'm going to knit two and I'm going to purl 10 stitches one, two, three, four, five. But when I get to five of those 10 stitches, I'm going to go ahead and put a marker for my lace repeat because my lace repeat is going to be five knits, two pearls, five knits. And we're on the back side, so it's five pearls, two knits, five pearls. So I'm going to place my marker here to show that I finished a 12 stitch repeat. I'm going to finish the last five of this purl 10. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to knit two. One, two, and then I'm supposed to repeat from star to star until I'm five stitches before the marker. Okay, so Again, um, I knit two, so I'm going to purl five and then purl five more. I'm going to put my marker in between. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to place a marker and I'm going to do six, seven. eight, nine, ten, and then I'm going to knit two. And then I am now five stitches before the marker. And uh, we're going to go ahead and knit two. We're going to purl those five. I'm afraid maybe you lost sight of my hands there for a little while, but I was only knitting a purling, so she should be okay there. And so I purl five and I'm at my marker. So that's great. So I've got two, three lace repeats set up here. And then I'm going to end with my edging, which is going to be a knit one, purl one, three times. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Okay, and so that finishes up setup row two, and it looks like this when you're done. So this is a provisional cast on A and B. This is B. Um, you're going to be doing a bunch of lace patterns in a rectangle and then these provisional cast-ons get pulled out to do the three needle bind off for your underarm seam. And um, that's all there is to it. Just a reminder here is I was placing markers um, between the five stitches here. So place a marker after P5. So there you go. So that's the provisional cast on for the Hito Fude cardigan, and I will see you again soon. Thank you for being here. Bye.